Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Uh, I just did a delivery, and uh, I was just thinking while I was driving about when negative happens in our life, we either think it's because of something that we did, or when negative does happen, how many people in our lives who are similar to Job's friends will come and tell us what we did wrong, why we're facing what we're facing. Um, what happened to me within the last year, you know, this negative thing that happened, um, I was then approached by a pastor and they were more or less telling me, you know, making me, making it seem like I was sinning. And the, their disposition, it wasn't love. You know, they're just more or less from their point of view, pointing out my wrong. So the, the negative that happened at my life, that's when, you know, this pastor came and was saying what they said to me. And I'm like, you know, I journal, not every day, but I journal God's words. What I hear from God, if there's anything bad that I'm doing, God tells me, you know, and so I, it's like, I don't need like somebody trying to make me feel lower than what I should be feeling, you know, especially when somebody's going through a negative in their life, you know, to be like Job's friends or supposed friends and make you feel worse. And, you know, they, Job's friends thought that Job was just sinning and that, you know, he lost his family. I mean, I mean, what people would do that except Job's friends, friends to co up and make you feel worse? And, you know, Job was like complaining. I guess he was complaining about, you know, he, he didn't understand why he was going through what he was going through. You know, why the, the things happened as they did. He lost his children. His wife was at, you know, against him. <laughs> Definitely not standing by his side. And uh, he's covered with boils. I mean, that's hor horrible all in one time. And rather than having friends that comfort you and pray with you, you know, they're friends in... His friends were self-righteously pointing out what he could have done wrong. And, you know, that wasn't God's heart. God wanted to show the enemy how righteous Job was. So, you know, when we're facing negative in our lives, how is it that we think that it's God's punishment toward us? If we're facing something health-wise that we're going through that's negative, we think it's God's punishment. Why is that always, like, why is it that we always do that? You know, are, are we not supposed to face the negative as well as the positive in our life? And I'm not saying that, you know, all negative is, you know, just a test from God. You know, sometimes if we are, like, if we're sowing evil, we're going to reap from that. If we're sowing dishonestly, we're going to reap the fruit of that. You know, if we're doing bad, we're going to reap the fruit of that bad. But how about if we're not sowing anything bad and negative still happens? Well, I mean, who's to say that that negative isn't helping to form us to become more in the image of Jesus? more to what we're supposed to be in God's eyes. You know, it, it, Paul said that, you know, hardship produces character, character endurance, you know, stuff like that. So rather than looking at it from a negative point of view, we need to, you know, have Thanksgiving. We need to thank God through all of it. You know, knowing that God is going to take care of us. 
you know, uh, Thanksgiving through trials is so important. And that's, that's what we got to do. We got to remember that, you know, it's so very easy to praise God when good things are happening, but the real test is when negative things happening, you know, praising God, you know, Job did that, you know, when he faced that negatives in his life, you know, his, his children died. He said, the Lord gives and the Lord takes away. The Lord is to be praised. To praise God through the trial, that's a big thing. And so I think, you know, it's a good point that when we wake up in the morning and we're spending our time with Jesus, we need to thank him. Thanking him for the good as well as the negative that we're seeing in our life, the negative that is happening to us. It's hard. I tell you, it is hard. When negative is happening in our life, to to thank Jesus. And I remember doing that when, you know, my car, I, I was driving, you know, from the, the a town that was 20 miles away from where I was living. I went there because my ex was going through surgery. I tried to be there for moral support. And so I, I went on so little gas. And so, you know, as soon as I left, I, I had a little gas in there and then I got to the exit of where I lived and the car stopped. You know, I don't remember. I think it was the fuel pump. Maybe I don't know what it was, but it, it costed like $400. But I, I always remembered that when negative happened, on that night, I was thanking Jesus, which is the hardest thing to do because that trial is so heavy. But thanking him is so very important because, you know, it's it's right to have a good perspective through the negative and not have a bad perspective. If we're looking at things the wrong way, then we're going to remain in that negative place. But if we're praising Jesus, then... We thank him for that trial. We know that trial is for our good. So I just wanted to share that with you. I mean, maybe you have dealt with the same, you know, maybe you had Job's friends come and like try to make you feel worse, make you feel like you're a sinner and all that when you're going through a negative in your life. But... I had to take that off. Uh, so, you know, I just wanted to share that. I mean, to always thank Jesus when negative happens, when bad happens. You know, getting into that place. He already knows what we're going through. But to have the right perspective, to have the right focus is what is really needed when negative happens. So, you know, we're not immune from all negative in our life. We're not immune from bad things happening. You know, they have to happen because they create in us what is needed. But let's just make sure that we're not doing anything that's bad in which we're facing hardship. You know, we always want to make sure that we're in that right place and doing what we're supposed to do. So, I wanted to share that with you. Happy Thanksgiving.